Hi everyone, happy Valentine's Day. I have a picture from Rita Berman's um, Minoriser de Europa to uh, have a go at. We have this lovely um, heart, which I thought was great for Valentine's. Now it's mainly symmetrical, um, so we'll probably just do half and uh, see how we go. Just grab some paper to put behind the page. Now I decided to do it a little bit differently. It's always quite tempting to do hearts with pinks and pastels, but I thought I would have a go with metallics. I just thought it'd be a bit different and fun. So, oops, I'm just gonna open them up and uh, we'll get started. Sorry, just getting myself organized. <laughs> I, I was going to get them out first, but then I wouldn't have been able to show you the lid of the tin. Right, so I think I'm going to start. We've got this bit in the middle is a little bit different. It's not symmetrical, and I'm going to start there and then move around and end there. And then the other half you can fill in because it will be the same. Um, I ran the little poll on my website asking people about whether they liked me to do the whole thing or just half um, you know and uh, at the moment I've only put it up this morning um, most people said just half so that's what I'm going to do today but I will see what the poll says um, also the leaves I'm going to do the leaves all the same so I won't show you a million zillion trillion leaves that's quite a lot so let's start here let's stop waffling and start colouring I'm going to go for purples and pinks, I think, because it is Valentine's heart. So the violet sapphire is where I'm going to start. Actually, I am going to come in significantly closer. There we go. And this one. Now, we've got a lot of black here. I'm just going to go over that a little bit with a good few layers of this. And then bring it out towards the edge of the petal in less layers. Now, yes, we've got these. I'm going to use some pen over those in a bit. This isn't really as bright as I had imagined but it doesn't matter. It'll work. I can put a dark line under there and then do the same all the way around and then whatever I do for here I'm going to do for these I think. Although I might not be able to write over the top of my violet sapphire. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We can always get involved, get some, actually that's a really good idea, could use some um, metallic pens or glitter pens. I think I might do that. I haven't got any in here. <laughs> mm, slight technical hitch. Wow, we'll see. So each one of these is just going to be the same. Just see it. So I hope everyone's having a good day. I mean, for us in the UK, for Valentine's Day, nothing really happens in a day. It's a normal week, working weekday. And it's just in the evening, people go out for a meal. Um, just picking. I think I'm going to use the amethyst. It should be dark enough to stand out in the middle. I'm going to try and make it really dark around the edge and then a bit less towards the middle to try and make that middle section look like it's sticking out a bit. I hope that works. Quite hard for me to see. Just turn my head to the side. Yeah, I think that works. These dots, I think I'm just going to do in white a bit later. I think I'm going to leave that there. But I'm going to make all these three slightly different colours and this one. Um, this one we've also got these. Hmm. Let's go for this one next. Um, let's do, do a. Hmm, what should we do? What's that colour? Yeah, let's go for a garnet lake. Let me have a quick look. Um, yes, we use the garnet lake for the middle. No. So, I'm, what am I doing? Let me tell you. Looking at my swatch chart. And I've noticed that the magnetic mauve goes really well with the garnet lake, but it bleeds through the white. And I'm going to be doing white on here. So I don't want the magnetic mauve on this bit, or else the white will go pink. So I'm going to do this one, the garnet lake, for this bit, and put the magnetic mauve in, on the, um, in the middle. 
where it doesn't matter. That is what I was thinking. <laughs> so yes, anyway, in the UK Valentine's, um, you should just go out for a meal or have a nice meal at home together or and give each other a card. Maybe some chocolates, roses, that sort of thing. All the flowers are hugely overpriced at this time of year. Um, particularly anything that's red, because uh, I guess red roses signify love and all that sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, and every restaurant is booked out and crowded and I couldn't imagine anything more horrible. <laughs> But there we go. Here's our magnetic mode, which, as I said, I'm going to use in the middle. Again, I want to make it darker on the outside. A little bit less in the middle. Hopefully it makes it doesn't really stand out. I just hit the tripod with my head. I'm sorry if I've gone all squiff. It doesn't look too bad. <laughs> sorry. Right. This one. Um, I'm looking for, what should we do, like a ro the Rose Argent, where's that, there he is, so this one, um, I'm going to do the petals in this in exactly the same way. And then, I haven't thought about the centre. As I'm doing it, I'll try and look at my swatch card. How I'm going to do that without going out the lines is anybody's guess. <laughs> Perhaps I best not. <laughs> yeah, as I said, all my leaves are going to be the same. What you notice here is it looks a different colour. There's quite a grey to that, but down here it's more pink. And I find that happens with these um, metallics. Sometimes the colour is just really inconsistent and it's very old. But anyway, it's just what happens with these. I don't know whether the pigment isn't mixed up properly or whether it's something to do with the metallic in there or whether I just need to press a bit harder. Oh, I just don't know. So there's that one. Now the centre, I haven't been looking. <laughs> I thought probably best not to. Um, I'm thinking Jasper Purple. Where are you? Jasper Purple. There we go. So a Jasper Purple for the centre. Now if you don't have the metallics, just grab a set of anything really. And use similar colours. I'm trying to do it lighter in the middle. I don't know if that's a good idea on this flower scent. Right. Now we have these three. Um, I'm wondering whether to keep to the pinks and purples or whether to do them blue. Should we do them blue? Yeah. Uh, she answers herself. <laughs> Galaxy blue. It's rather nice. Now I think I'm going to do all of these because I'm not sure that they're symmetrical. That one sort of is. It won't take a minute. There we go. And this one down here the same. I don't think there are any more of these. Now I always wonder what this is. I'm giving that a bit of thought. Is it a bud? Is it a seed pod? Does it matter which it is? Does it actually make any difference as to how I'm going to colour it? I decide in a bit. Mystery. Right, so that is those. And the centres, I think I'm going darker. And that is the peacock topaz, is our dark blue. OK, 
Okay, and I'm going to try and go a little dark around the edge, more layers, and less in the middle. Like that. Now we finish that sort of central area. I'm going to start sort of moving along. We have got these berries. I think we might just do those. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm quite liking sticking with a sort of um, the sort of pinks and reds and things. Mm, what colour is that? Burgundy rose. Got an imperial topaz. I think we'll use the imperial topaz. berries it's a sort of slightly reddish colour I guess I'm trying to make it darker on the edges because they're really small quite tricky it's unlike me to just do one layer of colour for berries but it is actually what I'm going to do and I'm actually going to do um, those pods that I said these I'm going to do those with this as well now there's quite a few of these they'll all be in the middle so it'll sort of if you see you can see them all around there they'll all match so let's do this one as well now if you wish, I'm not I'm not gonna do all of them now. You can pause the video and just do all of them. I'm gonna write it down. So that is Imperial Topaz. And I'm gonna write Imperial Topaz pods. And then I remember what I've used it for. I'm gonna put that aside in a slightly different place to the other pencils that I've used. Now greenery. I think I'm gonna leave that actually. Um, they're these. I don't know if these are clovers and therefore green or if they're flowers. I'm actually going to leave them and do them green, I think. Because, um, yeah. Now, what I've decided is that all my flowers are now only going to be these colours. I don't want to do any more colours. I think sticking with just a limited palette is, a, is the way I feel I want to go. So say these are go this is all going to be leaf. I'm going to um, do those in a bit. Let's do all the flowers first and the leaves at the end. So this one here, um, I'm thinking I do that colour because it's quite far away. I can't remember which one it was though. Um, is it this one? Mm, I've got no clue. Um, <laughs> let's look. It's the Garnet Lake. So let's grab that. Where are you, Garnet Lake? Here you go. So this one is going to be Garnet Lake. And I'm going to do it from the centre. A little bit harder there, a little bit less towards the edge. And the same through. What I've decided is I'm going to do all my white bits with a bleed proof white ink because some of these will bleed so that will stop me having to worry now I'm not very good at applying my bleed through bleed proof white ink it's I have to use a paintbrush or a calligraphy pen or something so I'm not going to do it on camera but what I'm going to do is do these sort of seeds, the seeds around here, the seeds around here, a little bit of shine on the berries, that sort of thing. Maybe around the centres of each of them as well with some white. What I'll do is I'll publish at the end of the video a completed, <coughs> excuse me, um, a completed picture. And you'll be able to see. Um, how it looks and you can copy where I put my dots if you want to or you can do your own thing so um, I'm just writing down that I used the gar garnet lake for that one so that I remember 
and then I'm going to do these bells and I like the idea of doing those in blue but I'm going to use the peacock topaz which is the dark blue so it looks a bit different to these so this is the colour we use for the centre of those and I'm just going to fade it as we go down towards the base and uh, I don't know why I always think these look like bluebells, they've got to be blue, but that's uh, that's just how it is in my brain. I mean, they could be snowdrops, but they're not in my head. <laughs> now, I want to put a purple one here, so I'm going to use the amethyst. And uh, we've got a centre and an outside trying to remember. I think we use the violet sapphire for the flower and the amethyst for the centre so we reverse it. I think they're really similar colours anyway. So this is the amethyst for the petals. And then we use the um, violet sapphire for the centre. So here is our violet sapphire. Now we've got this sort of um, large floral. Um, I'm going to use the jasper purple on this one, I think. Um, let me have a think, yeah, just for purple. And the centre, hmm, I'm not sure <laughs> which one we use together with this. I think it might have been it would have been the rose argent, wouldn't it? We use that. Or is that what we use for the berries? No. Now, I tend to treat the metallic pencils like I would a normal pencil. So I layer them up and um, that sort of thing. So this is the Rose Argent. Sorry, I didn't show it to you. Centre. just writing it down for myself now we have um, these sort of berries I think I'm going to colour those in this berry colour which was the imperial topaz okay you can't see them sorry these berries here I'm going to use do them in the same colour as these now with any sort of berry, I try and make it a bit lighter in the middle. It gives it the illusion of shine. Now we've got these little dots here. Um, I think rather than doing those the colour of the berry, I'm going to do those them the colour of the centre of those flowers. Oops, my pencils are rolling away. Oh, we've got another berry there, look. can't see, it's there, right down there, but there isn't one on the other side, not quite symmetrical, but that's fine. Now, I want to do these flowers in blue, and I'm going to use the, whoops, the galaxy blue for the petals, like I did for the ones up there, because these have got the darker blue. So again, a bit harder towards the centre. 
and then lighter towards the outside. I'm beginning to think about what green to use for the flower, for the leaves. Um, I'm thinking because we've got quite a mix of different colours, I want the same colour for all the leaves, just to sort of, so it doesn't look so messy. And I think I want a bluey green, which sort of I feel goes better with blues and purples and pinks. So that's my way of thinking at the moment. So that's the galaxy blue and then the peacock topaz for the centres. There we go. And then our last flower. Um, because this one's quite small and these are bigger, I think I'm going to do it purple. I think it will balance better with that one. But which shade, which way around, they're quite similar to be honest. So I'm going to use the violet sapphire for the, for the petals. Sun shouting himself I add not to me <laughs> he said something was insane he's obviously playing a game he had said he wanted to take a break um actually finish work because he was uh, revising and finding it a bit tough it's hard work revising isn't it um I'm just going to write that down so this is what I would do if I was leaving my page for a bit. Um, sort of write everything down so I can remember where I'm at. But um, normally I wouldn't. I would make sure I did all the bits of one colour that I wanted to, you know, before I, before I sort of left my book. There we go, that's the amethyst for the middle. Now, we have done most bits, apart from, there are some little crosses here, also here and here, and they're sort of scattered through the page. Um, I've got to decide what colour to do those. I think I will do my greenery first and then decide. Now, here's the greens. These two are very vibrant and very very bluey green and I'm looking at them and I think they will probably be the best one of those two they're actually really quite similar I'm going to use the ocean grey I think okay and I'm just going to start um, oh there we go I'm just going to start and uh, talk you through really so for this stem I'm just going to fade it a little bit towards the tip and the same with the leaves a bit darker here and lighter towards the tip I'm probably going to do that for all of the leaves just uh, just so there's some consistency and it's just the way I, I colour really I think it's the way Johanna Basswood colours that's where I got it from really but any tendrils I probably do um, a bit darker or maybe not fade it quite so much depends how long they are really and how thin so like this one I'm going to do dark because um, we're going to sort of fade the leaves a bit towards the tip got another stem in there that's a leaf it's a little tricky to make out what's going on there's a stem here you still see, yeah. Now this is one of these that I thought looked like clover. It's just going to be the same colour. You could do those as flowers if you want. Now we've got a dot here. Um, I think I'm going to do the dots the same colour as these. And I'll just work out what colour I think they need to be once I've finished. Now these um, I haven't coloured in and I think I'm going to leave them because I'm going to do white dotting on everything. So all our sort of seedy bits, which is what that looks like to me, will be white. So 
so I think it would make sense for that to be. But you might prefer to colour it blue because it's coming from the blue flower. Uh, he's trying to make it all out. There's a lot of leaf. Foliage, that's the word. <laughs> that's a colour, isn't it? Derwent has a foliage green. It's a nice one. This is my favourite Derwent green. But I'd like a few more um, slightly paler versions of it. But uh, anyway, I think Derwent could do with a few more mid greens. A lot of those are very browny. Hmm, I think that is the bottom of this leaf. Like that, and then fade to the tip. Yeah, I mean, Derwent might have a bigger range of greens in some of their sets. I'm talking specifically of the Light Fast set. They're, um,. All the greens are quite brownish. I guess some people might really like that shade. But for me, I'd like a few other, a few different ones. Okay, let's come up. So I'm really just sh showing you the same thing over and over, but I want to colour a sort of portion so that I can decide what colour to do these circles. I think I've done enough really for that. Let's come back down and look. So thinking about all the colours that we've got, let's have a let's make a decision. So we've got quite we've got quite a lot of blue now and purple. It's really these pinks that we've got less of. I'm thinking this particular colour might be better. Um, that is more of the Garnet Lake, isn't it? Um, so maybe we'll use that Garnet Lake for our circles and floral bits and general pretty bits and bobs around here. And I'm thinking I want those in blue, I've decided. Um, this is the um, Galaxy Blue I'm going to use for those. Now, I'm just going to do a few more bits, but I've pretty much shown you all of it now, I think. Um, so I will go away and finish it off on my own, I think. I don't want to sort of keep you um, just watching me randomly colour. I know some people like it, some people don't. And I'm going to run out of things to say quite soon. Because uh, I've been talking a lot. I've just been on the phone for an hour to my mum. Talking about various things. And... Uh, Hmm. Right, so that's that, those bits done. I think I'll just finish the green coming down this side quickly, just so that you can see it. And uh, then you'll know if you want to use the same shade of green, because obviously back like here there's some overlap. So you might decide you want to use a slightly different colour for some of it. I'm going to try and just make that bit a little bit lighter and make this bit darker. It might actually naturally feel like it should be the other way around. And uh, make that bit quite dark. How do we do the seed part? We faded it up. Like that. So uh, I think we're almost there, so you can see most of it. We'll just do this bit because these these sort of cups on the on these. I think I would try and do them a little bit darker each side, maybe a little bit lighter in the middle if if it's possible. Some of them are really a bit teeny tiny for that. There we go. Oh, let's just do that just for the sake of finishing something. So I think I'm going to make that do. I'm going to finish it off, put a picture in the uh, 
What I might do actually is finish the pencil work and take a picture and then put the white on and take a picture and then you can see what difference it makes and decide whether it's something that you want to include. I'm wondering whether I might rather do glitter than white but white to show it better. I'll have a think. It's only because I'm worried about the bleed, the um, the colour bleeding into the white that I'm sort of not wanting to do that. So I think I will do it. I just have to be really careful with my uh, with my bleed proof white, and uh, I, I need to practice. I need the practice, so I'm going to do it. So it might look a bit messy, but that's my fault, not the fault of the white. But anyway, that's me for now. So thank you very much for watching. Have a very very good day. Um, hope you enjoy yourself, whatever you're doing, and uh, happy colouring.